Item number SCP-3026 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-3026 is contained at the center of an 18 meter by 18 meter containment chamber with a circle painted on the floor indicating its active radius. Personnel may not enter this area. SCP-3026 must be illuminated at all times by several redundantly powered wall-mounted floodlights. These lights may not be blocked or deactivated outside of testing or scheduled repairs. Description SCP-3026 is an object that closely resembles a human child between the ages of 8 and 10, while SCP-3026 will react to certain stimuli. It is immobile in most situations. It does not appear to require sustenance. It is unclear whether SCP-3026 is alive in the conventional sense. Whenever a living organism with a brain comes within 7 meters of SCP-3026, SCP-3026's limbs will rapidly increase 6 to 7 meters in length in the direction of the organism. SCP-3026 will attempt to access the target's brain by inflicting blunt force trauma on the skull until it can be pulled apart, after which it will manually remove the brain. After separating the target's brain from its body, SCP-3026's limbs will retract and it will return to a dormant state. SCP-3026 has also displayed the ability to rapidly extend and retract its limbs in order to avoid physical contact with moving objects, preventing attempts to acquire samples or inflict damage. While SCP-3026 appears incapable of imbolating conventionally, it is capable of relocating by falling prone and pushing against the ground in nearby objects by extending and retracting its limbs, returning itself to an upright position when it ceases movement. SCP-3026 has been observed to reach speeds of 40 kilometers per hour using this method. Whenever SCP-3026 is not exposed to at least 3,000 lumens of light, it will emit a high-pitched sound at 110 decibels that induces fear and severe anxiety attacks in 85% of subjects. It will continue to do so while rapidly moving in the direction of the nearest sufficient light source. SCP-3026's method of detecting light is unclear, as is the method by which it produces sound. Several of SCP-3026's features, a red pantsuit, a pair of sunglasses, and a mullet-like hairstyle are composed of a wax-like substance designated SCP-3026-1. SCP-3026 will manually remove the left lens of its glasses to discharge SCP-3026-1 from an orifice near its left eye in order to repair damage done to these items. SCP-3026-1 is identical to Conobar Wax, except that it will alter in appearance to mimic the color, texture, and transparency of any solid it comes in contact with. When deprived of light for an extended period of time, SCP-3026 will not produce SCP-3026-1. Recovery SCP-3026 was located in an otherwise unused warehouse in Deep Colorado after an anomalous tip made to a hotline operated by a foundation front company. Several light fixtures were active and pointed towards it at time of recovery. Ownership records for the warehouse indicates that it was leased by a front company associated with R.V. Kuyet. A document was attached to the front door of the warehouse. It has been reproduced here. First, some advice. The thing inside is not a human, and I don't know what it is, besides disturbing. Keep bright light on it at all times. Don't get too close or it will literally rip your brain out. Second, I want to stress that we had nothing to do with this. 
I was running a show yesterday at a place downtown, and I found this as one of the exhibits. It even come with this little plaque, at the precipice, by the gardener. Most humans have a graded and complex relationship with being perceived, as it throws them in conflict with the world, but it gives them a chance to make their own place within it. This creature is a reflection of those disarrayed tendencies. It requires light, but it has ugly clothes of camouflage wax. Don't get too close or it will remove your brain, the biggest sensory organ. No light, it makes a sound of fear. Surely, this is a peak of an art. A few problems here. First of all, most is absolutely built as an art piece on every level. Every artist who has given the venue's location in advance is capable of much greater things. The plaque, as you can see, is idiotic. Second, I know the gardener. He makes plants that cause hallucinations. Note, because of this evidence, it is now believed that SCP-3424 is associated with the gardener. The location of the gardener is underway. I don't think he could make this if he wanted to. Third, this show's theme is the recontextualization of internet art and culture. This killed my assistant and an intern before I got it under control. I don't know who made it or why it was left on my doorstep, but I intend to find out. In the meantime, do whatever you want with it. Just don't blame us, okay? The designer.